Hi everybody, it's me, John. Today I have a story for you about my past and how I kind of got where I am today and I just want to share it with you. It's about uh, how God and quantum mechanics literally moved me. This story begins back when I was 12 years old. I went to a beach house with my family as we did every year in Conneaut, Ohio. This beach house had a rickety set of stairs that went down to the beach and me and a friend, his name was John Andrews, was going down these stairs. He followed me. Now, as we got about halfway down the stairs, he fell. And as he fell, he kind of tumbled down to the landing. And then it happened. One of the strangest things that I could ever possibly imagine. I saw two things happen simultaneously. Two events. I saw him stand up, brush himself off, and say, hey, I'm okay. And then the other thing I saw was him lay on the ground, turn his head to the side, look under a bush that was off to the side of us, get up, go over, pick up an object and come back. Turned out to be a red frisbee. When I looked back at him again after a few seconds, this simultaneous image stopped. And when it stopped, it kind of just melted right back into one. And he said, I'm okay. And he brushed himself off again second time. The hairs on my arms stood up. I froze in place like a deer in the headlights. I mean, it, it really stopped me in my tracks. And I decided to tell him what happened. So I told him. He looks to the side. We couldn't see anything but high grass. He walked over, and sure enough, under that grass was a red frisbee. He never talked to me again after that day, and I was left wondering what had really happened. Much later in my life, after I decided not to tell people such things, I came to realize what it was. Things don't happen in a straight linear line like we believe or we perceive most of the time. There's many branches and many possibilities that all take place in the same now moment. The multi-universe, or as some of you know, the Everett's many worlds theory, but it's not a theory, it's, it's a fact. I come to realize that we navigate through this multiple universe with our intent and our energy. And that is far more complex and infinite than we could ever imagine. That in all these different timelines, which are infinite, springing from now to now to now, every plank length, every instant, the world changes and takes a different course. We only perceive one. So I decided, you know, I'm an older guy. Now I can tell some people about this. And then this happened. But it didn't change the fact that the Red Frisbee was there. It didn't change the fact that I had a realization about the multiple worlds and the multiple universe and timelines. None of that changed. So I continued to tell people what I thought, even though they had locked me up. When I continued to tell people, they sent some of these guys. <laughs> they sent them to my home, knocked down my door, pulled me out of bed in the middle of the night in the snow, naked. Took me back to a hospital, gave me a whole bunch of these, which I didn't want to take. Forced me to take them, put me in a set of these, which was very degrading and sent me off to see this guy. I tried to explain to this guy what I had seen, what had happened, and why I believed what I did. I mentioned people like this and what he felt on the topic. I even went so far as to try to explain the mechanics of how it worked. I even told him a little bit about this. I said that in this country, we're free to believe as we wish. And if I'm not hurting anybody or, or 
harm to myself in any way, shape, or form, why shouldn't I be allowed to believe as I do? They had other ideas. So he passed his judgment on me. He charged me a lot of this. And it was made clear to me that if I continued to talk to people about this kind of thing, this would be my fate. If that didn't stop me, this would be ultimately my fate for the rest of my life. Well, I said, fuck that. This isn't going to happen. Excuse my language, but that's just how I felt. And I was a little angry. My wife shared my view. So we packed up everything we owned. And we left his field of influence, that judge. And we traveled. And we went here. Specifically, here. That judge had told me about my beliefs being insane, that my concept of God and existence didn't fit with his religion. I still think, and I still think this guy is great, but my perspective is a little changed and it, it just conforms to a different view nowadays. And, uh, I understand a little more. It's not quite as simplistic and linear as people believe. So that's why my views are what they are. Now these people where I was living, they can continue to believe what they want and they can have their authoritarian society that forces you to believe a certain way or they lock you up, put you uh, in a mental hospital or force you to take medications you don't want. In the end result, they can kiss my... So now I live here. I'm surrounded by beauty. A little more secluded. Far happier. And in the end result, though it was difficult, God literally moved me through quantum mechanics and understanding it. And this is where I reside. Thank you.